Hi, Amos here from Halcyon Yarn. Wanting to show a area of our site that's under development. Trying to let people find yarns starting from a color or colors that you like. Quickest way to get started is to use the color wheel. First step is to click on the outside ring and select the color you like and then you can make it lighter, darker, more colorful or less colorful using the inside square. You can quickly build a palette using the palette generator buttons over here uh, or you can select colors individually by clicking on a different sample square um, to either start a new color or modify one of the colors that's already there. Uh, you can choose one, two, three, four, or five colors. Once you have colors that you like, click Get Matches. And that goes out and looks through the thousands of colors that we have and tries to find the closest matches. You can sort by name, weight, fiber content. Um, another way we've been having fun selecting colors is using images. I have an example image right here which you could uh, upload from your computer. And once you click process photo, it may take a second. When the page reloads, you should see your image and you can simply click inside your image to sample colors. And again, using different color squares, if you want to select more than one color, you can select up to five from your image. And get matches. Now, if you have a specific project in mind, you might not want to look through all of the colors of fibers that we carry. You may want to limit the results to those that are appropriate to your project. So if you wanted wool or wool blends in a bulky or super bulky weight for a winter project, you could select those categories. And then the results should uh, more closely relate to what you need. Now, once you have a selection of fibers that you want to take a closer look at, you can compare colors right next to each other over in the color mixer area. Colors don't have total accuracy on a computer monitor, but you can get a general sense of how well they might go together by placing them right next to each other. Of course, if you don't like a color, you can delete it, replace it with something else. Uh, you can add a color to your cart right from here. You can link to all the colors in that line of yarn in a new window. You can see the name of yarns that you've added. <coughs> Once you've found some colors that you like, you might want to save them as a project. And after you've done that, this is something that you could bookmark and come back and change later. Uh, you could also share it with friends, and we have some links right here to do just that. But if you're going to share it with other people, you might want to uh, lock a version of this project. And what that does is uh, saves a copy that's not able to be changed. Um, so your choices will be preserved. But if somebody wants to work with the colors that you've created, then they can click Modify and it will create a new version of this project that is able to be changed.
which they can save themselves if they like. This is a beta project and we're hoping for feedback. We'd love to know if people like it or not or how it can be improved and we would love to see what you make using it. So please feel free to give uh, a shout via email to me, Amos Wright, and my email is mis at halcyonyarn.com. I'd love to hear from you, and I'd love to see what you make. Thanks.